Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you guys. Welcome back. This is Brian for the Cruise Travelers, and we are finally back from our five day cruise out of New Orleans, and we were on the Carnival Glory. It's an amazing ship. It was one of my first cruises back in the day in mid 2000s, and I'm glad to be back on the boat. It's an amazing boat. Um, they have a, it has a lot of great things. And what I want to do today is I want to take you on a tour of the Carnival Glory. I'm going to take you on almost every single level. We're not going to stick around the, um, the, the level with a lot of the rooms on it, but I'm going to show you the ins and outs of the Carnival Glory. All right, guys, and don't forget, our views have been up tremendously this month but our subscribers is down. So what I really need help from you guys is to jump on and subscribe and take a look at these videos. We have a lot of videos coming up that we built over the last two weeks that's gonna be helpful to not only the seasoned cruiser, but also the new cruiser. So click that subscribe button, please. Go ahead and click the like bucket button on the video. And uh, here we go. We're gonna learn about the Carnival Glory. Lido deck right now. We're coming out of the elevator into the pool area and it opens up. And this is the first common pool area. As you can see at the top, it has the kids' slides. Uh, it's about 7 in the morning right now. We have the Red Frog Rum Bar. Left side of the boat, we have the tequila bar. They have one of these salsa bars. It's called the Blue Iguana Cantina. You could choose burritos. And they have breakfast. Uh, it's burger joint. <coughs> Here. So look at some of the burgers they have. The toppings bar. Here are some of the toppings. Add. They're coming through the aft portion. They have you know, ice cream. This is the breakfast bar. The face closed right now. Should be open shortly. And this is the breakfast buffet where everything's included. This portion of the bar, um, they open up in the morning and it's all included with the price to get on the boat. These are the juices that you have. Coffee. And hidden over here in the corner <coughs> is a place that not a lot of people really recognize, but it's a coffee bar. So we're going out of deck nine 
on uh, the back of the boat or aft. And this here is something that I haven't seen on all the boats. It's called the Seafood Shack. Let's take a look at some of the items that they have. The pizza station. The pizza pyre. This place is open 24 hours. You can come get pizza anytime you want, and that is included in your entry to get on the boat. Does it cost anything to get pizza? 24 hours a day. This is. Um, the back of the boat and this particular pool and these two hot tubs are for adults only so if you want to come and get away from the kids either your kids or everyone else's you can, you can check out deck nine aft it's in the very back of the boat have their own bars back here and it says adults. adults only so they are actually filling the pool right now so here is deck 10 at This is a great area to get away from the children, but um, it's not much strict. This area right here is not strict for the children. It's just that most of the kids are at the midship Lido deck, and right here is Carnival Waterworks. It's for the kids. Give you a good idea of what it looks like. It's down right now. Waterworks. Twister and Aqua Tunnel stairs. Right up to the top. entrance right here yellow slide right here so I'm going to take you over to the official adults only what they call the serenity retreat kids are not allowed if they do uh, attempt to go in this area they'll be asked to leave it's 21 and over only so you, even if you have kids that are old teenagers you have to be and over for the Serenity. So take a look at this place. You get 
two large, amazing hot tubs overlooking the front of the boat. Let's test that water out. It's a little cool right now. Probably trying to warm it up a bit. here. As you work your way around the left side of the Serenity Retreat area, it will not allow you to come through. And that's not very nice. Now we're on what they call the Sun Deck 12. where we're at and we're on the forward portion of the boat sun deck 12 forward and here's where the kids go so they have three different youth camps here at Camp Ocean what used to be called Camp Carnival and with your youth programs you have you have your Camp Ocean, which is ages 2 to 11. We have your Circle C, which is going to be ages 12 to 14. And then we have Club O2, which is ages 15 to 17. And they just enter here. And they have their own doors. Ages two to five, right here. And this one is ages nine to 11, and ages six to eight. So this is the Camp Carnival. What used to be Camp Carnival is now Camp Ocean.
So we've shown you decks 9, 10, 11, and 12 on the on the aft or end of the boat. So if the boat is going forward and I'm walking backwards, am I going back in time? Hmm. There's some food for thought for you. So we're back to deck 10, overlooking deck 9, which is the Lido deck, which is where all of your hot tubs, your pools are at, your carnival waterworks is at. And when they have the dive-in movies, you'll see that on your daily announcements. That's the large screen that they have it on. You can chill in the pool, chill in the hot tubs, or on these chairs and watch a movie. The giant. We're gonna work our way up to deck 11. Well, this is the running track area, in case you want to come exercise in one direction to run on the track and it seems to be counterclockwise giant screen we were talking about earlier that has the dive-in movies overlooking deck 9, Lido deck, pool and hot tub area and the carnival works. Ever wonder how long the track is? There it is. One lap, 197 yards, nine laps. 773 yards. I've seen that question. So as we way around to deck 10, just a couple steps up, we have a basketball court and also a volleyball court. So if you want to come here, a lot of times they'll have the balls already out for you. So this is a great area for the kids. The balls don't go over the side of the boat. And here is Putt Putt Golf.
They seem to be well manicured and taken care of. And that's just another sun deck that goes to the top. It's empty. Just grab a chair if you would like to and catch some sun rays. So the next thing that we're going to take a look at is going to be deck five, where everything else goes on. Okay, so we're on deck five now, and as you come out, as you come out of deck five, you're you're entering the Camel Club Casino. Well, they don't like you filming in the casino itself, so we won't walk directly through the casino. We're going to walk around the edge, that way we don't get in trouble. But the casino is pretty large. There's a lot of nice, a lot of pretty cool games. This is a great area. They have Latin night. Um, Zydeco bands, they have um, Jamaican bands right here in this area. Information booth here. Carnival card. And this one, hello! And you can come get some delicious coffee from these young ladies. And if you have the cheers package, those coffees are included. So this is Club 02, so the kids have their own club. And um, it's ages 15 to 17, so these are the older of all three groups. That's Club 02. They have some pretty cool stuff in there. They have dance nights, they have game nights. Hello. Um, and right here is another common eating area. Sometimes they set up sushi, sometimes they set up tapas. Just depends on um, the cruise. Now we're coming up on the game room. It's called Ultraviolets. A lot of really neat games in here. You can use your sell and sign card. So if your kiddos have um, a sell and sign card and you put cash on it or you've connected it to your account, they can swipe away. So be careful. Be careful. Or insert the coin. So we're going to go back out of ultraviolet. And this is white heat. So we looked at Club 02, which was the uh, teenager's version of the their nightclub. And this is the adult version of the nightclub. So right now they're setting up for art. They auction off art. 
and uh, generally this is a nightclub. Uh, we came in here last night and we had some great music. It was a lot of fun. Um, so come in here to have uh, to dance, to listen to some music. I have a full bar. Um, so it's a great place to come check out. And here comes one of our favorite bars in all of the seven seas. That is going to be the Alchemy Bar. Some fresh cocktails here. A lot of it's like martinis, but um, they're handcrafted cocktails. Now they won't open until 4 p.m. So definitely come and try out the Alchemy Bar with your package, your drink package. These drinks are included, but they also have a martini tasting one night during your cruise. That is not included, but you do get 25% off of that tasting. So we came in here last night, moving on to the Cinnabar, and we're on deck five, aft. And this is a piano bar. It's not dueling piano, we just have one guy. It's a piano bar. I think it's a great place to sing along, to play music. He, um, he takes requests. Um, so it's a fun place to to break up the monotony. So as we work our way to, around to the aft portion of deck five. This is the deck on the back. So this is where they have the um, Let's see, they have karaoke here, they have, um, comedy night here, so this is a universal, um, venue that they use throughout the night. Hey. So in here, I was mistaken, that large room they don't use karaoke for, they used to, but this is a small area, a small room that we did karaoke in last night. They set it up on that stage. They have a full bar, one bartender in the back, no cocktail, no cocktail waitress. So um, when you want to come in here, grab a seat, get here early, take a look at your daily program to determine when karaoke is. Get here a little bit early to grab a good seat. It's a lot of fun. There was a lot of people in here last night. So that was deck five. We're coming back around to the alchemy bar again. Once again, we're passing ultraviolets. Hey, hey. We're passing Club 02. Remember, that's the kids club from 15, ages 15 to 17. Nice little nightclub. Don't forget to stop and get your coffee here. Michelle loves coffee. I'll be bringing her coffee here shortly. So now we're back 
into the casino area. And this is what I like to call the casino bar. You're permitted to smoke in this area if you'd like. Um, this is a really, really cool area I like to sit when I'm just wanting to chill out and people watch. Because it's a really high traffic area. A lot of people walk back and forth from the area to say karaoke and the alchemy bar over to the um, shops. So we're going to take a look at the shops right now. As you enter, we have sort of a jewelry slash apparel area. They don't have really have any clothes, but they have, um, I think they have handbags and stuff like that. But, um, It'll be open up at 9 a.m. You get watches and necklaces, and uh, if you want your if you get some money out, is your ATM. And as we work our way farther, we're coming to the Amber Palace. Now, this is where all the shows are at. If you want to see the shows. Take a look at the Amber Palace. This is the Amber Palace. This is where they have all the big shows at. Lighting, a large stage. It's a great place. Plenty of seating, get here early. They do bingo in here. Um, they do the Welcome Aboard show. They have several events in here that you really want to try out. Uh, they have three levels that you can enter. We're on the top level on deck five. Deck four is uh, where you can enter as well. So see, we're on the promenade deck, deck five. And you can enter that Amber Palace on deck three, four, or five. And here are all the locations on deck five. Pretty cool, huh? So we're going to work our way back around the other side of deck five where the fun shops are at. These fun shops, this is where your apparel's at, like your carnival gear. Your lanyards, your hats, your socks, your bags. That's what this is right here. Introducing Wade Walker. Hmm. Doesn't sound like something I want to want to drink. And if you want to find out how much you're using on your card, you get an itemized statement. You just swipe your card here and it'll print out a statement of all your charges. Try to do that at least every day or two to determine if there's any funny business going on. Um, so these are the fun shops here. And this is the Skybox Sports Bar. You can watch all kind of sports on here. And out of that sports bar into the casino, there was one shop I wanted to show you in particular that we just skipped over that some of you may have noticed. But it is the candy shop. Look at that. It is called J 
cherry on top. Pretty cool, huh? So all of your candies, those are not included. So when you swipe your card, you're gonna be charged. <laughs> so be careful with that. We're back on Dick Five Casino area. I think the last thing we need to show you is the area that has all the restaurants. We're gonna walk through here. Oh, and we're gonna show you also the atrium area. So this is one of the dining rooms. It's called the Golden Restaurant. Right here. So if you have the Golden Restaurant, this is what it looks like. They have an upper and a lower. So if you're in the Golden Restaurant, Deck 3, um, this is it right here. you a glance at what it looks like empty this place is complete chaos during the day And we're coming out the other end of the Golden Restaurant. And this opens up into guest services and the excursions desk. This is the lobby area, this is the main area, this is the gangway where you come in. You'll notice that they have a large bar here. And guest services so if you want to check out guest services you have some questions best time to get here is before 9 a.m. then it starts to fill up Guest services over here and remember the faster to fun or if you're platinum or diamond um, how I said that you get a faster line so say there's 30 people trying to be helped here if you're one of those you just walk right up here to the counter and they help you out. So that's part of the feature for Faster to Fun, Diamond, or Platinum. So we work our way over here. We have a nice little jazz band most of the time here. They really enjoy putting acoustical sets up right here. Um, we're gonna work our way over to the left side of the boat. And here is Shore Excursion. So if you want to book your excursions, you're going to come here. You can do it online or you can do it here and they give you your tickets. You can come here and book them if you would like. If you have any questions, there's someone at the desk. And this is the Amber Palace. Remember we talked about entering the Amber Palace on three different levels. Deck three, deck four, deck five. This is entering on deck three. So this is the lower level on deck three. Now I do have to warn you, when you come in here and it's not the show that you're coming to see, it's a little chilly in here. So grab a scarf, grab a um, pullover, because it's a little chilly. They try to keep it cold for the larger events when they're packing a lot of people in here. We're gonna go up one deck, on deck four, above the atrium, and they have what they call the Pixels Gallery. This is where they put together um, your picture packages. 
exactly what this is. So if you're looking to purchase your pictures, you come up here, they're gonna have them all lined up on the wall. You're gonna search through all the pictures, find yours, carry it over to this desk, purchase it. They have packages. Here's some of the packages. There you go. Here's another package. And if you need to purchase stuff for your, your camera or anything like that, they have that here as well. So I think we have one more area to show you. Here is what they call the black and white Basically a library. Built a black and white library. Pretty cool, huh? And this is the other pixels area. So if your picture's not on the other side, it'll be on this side. So I'm going to take you to the last spot on the boat, and that is the very last restaurant. So we've looked at the Golden Restaurant, and now we're going to look at the restaurant on the aft. Ivory Club on deck four aft. Now this is a pretty well hidden area. They set up bands here, private events. So if you're looking to have a private event on the Carnival Glory, this may be a great room for you. We're going down to deck three aft. And this is where everyone has breakfast, I believe. This one is... Is that you there? Uh, pretty empty. It's the Platinum Restaurant. This is the second restaurant on the boat. And this is the Platinum Restaurant. And this is the last restaurant. So I think that's it guys. That's pretty much everything for the carnival glory um, if you have any questions definitely comment down below click that like button also hit that subscribe we're going to keep putting videos out we're going to split this up into several videos several different areas and try to make it as informative as possible as well as short so thanks again guys and this is brian from the cruise travelers and we hope you have an amazing sailing on the Carnival Goy. See you later, guys. What's going on, guys? This is Brian from the Cruise Traveler. And what did you think about the Carnival Glory? Pretty amazing ship, huh? It is a little smaller than the others, but it has enough room to be able to get away from the others if you would like to. The ship was built in 2003, and then they revamped it not too long ago. And all in all, it's a great ship. We had a really good time and spent a good amount of time at the Alchemy Bar and the Atrium area, so definitely try it out. 
And also guys, if you can help us out, click that subscribe button down below and also click the like button. Uh, comment down below if you can. I would love to answer your questions because we're here for you. These videos that we make are for you guys. We don't care if you're a seasoned cruiser or you're new to cruising, these videos are for you. So help us out if you can. And we'll also place a link up above with some of our other videos like save 10% off your cruise. We have that video, walks you right through. And then also the drink package. And one of the main ones that we created is we created a video that has every single port the carnival goes to in the United States and every hotel that you should stay at that provides a shuttle service as well as free parking. So we're gonna put those videos in the link down below. We're gonna put some of them up above. So uh, definitely check them out. But thanks a lot guys. Thanks for tagging along with us on the Carnival Glory. And once again, we're gonna see you on the high seas. See you guys.